and my experience with Uber and how just how bad it was. Oh my God. So we're gonna get into it. If you've got Uber on your phone, then you might want to delete it after this video. I promise you this is not clickbait. Hello. What is going on guys? It's Joe from the life of Joe and Jordan. And today we've got a special video because the channel, look guys, the channel's not live yet. I know it's been ages, hasn't it? Because of COVID-19. Yeah. Yeah, literally. Yeah. We're doing our best. There's nothing yeah, else we yeah. can do, guys. It's a national lockdown. We physically cannot go and film stuff, or we couldn't we, we couldn't before. No. So anyway, do you know what I mean? We're doing well, we have. We filmed quite yeah. a few stuff on the scooters. Yeah, but we're doing the best we can. This no, is this is like a travel vlog. Um, oh the B-roll. Yeah. But anyway. So obviously we've got our first video coming in the next few weeks yeah. with the whole crew, cameraman, Tom, Dill Pickle, um, maybe Elle, I don't know. But I just wanted to put this out there today because Uber have absolutely scammed me and I think it's time to tell you guys what has happened. Is that only fair? Yes. If, right, everyone's got Uber, like I, I can guarantee you, I'm gonna look I at my phone Uber. up there. Yeah, everyone's got Uber, right? Yeah. Everyone's got Uber on their phone and they have Uber Eats. But when I tell you what happened to me, and this is a true story, this is not clickbait. Literally, we're gonna show you all the screenshots. Bam, 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 pop them up. Wait, we need to do a thumbnail. So, literally, let's get into this, I need a drink. Right, so let's get into this, guys, okay? So literally, I've got this app that texts me every time a payment leaves my account. Because you need to be secure, it's 2020. Anyway, I get a text, I wake up in the morning about 7 a.m., you know, I get up early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's about That's 11 true. actually. I get, I've got two texts from my bank saying payments to Uber in Amsterdam. Number one, the UK's in lockdown. We can't fly anywhere right now. You know, I would love to be in Amsterdam, but we can't go there, can we? 420. Four. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to be in Amsterdam right now, but we can't be there, guys. We can't be there. So I can't fly to Amsterdam. I, I'm in my house. We've been here the whole time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a lovely house. It's a lovely house. Yeah. Really, look at the view. Honestly, we got this a week, Just literally a week before they said you can't move in. Yeah. Honestly, Absolutely. we were so lucky getting this house. No, this is a yeah. wild card house. This is a wild card house. Because we had a house already. We had a big three story townhouse and it had a beautiful kitchen with the island. We were like, let's go. And then we saw this house and um, oh my God, it just, we fell in love with it. But back to the story. So these two charges from Uber in Amsterdam. Okay, so one, we can't leave the UK right now. Obviously we're not in Amsterdam, I, I wish. We've not even actually ever been to Amsterdam, have we? Yeah. It's on our bucket list. Yeah. Yeah, just because we like the cafes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's PG thirteen. I know. I don't know. You like the cafes for yeah. coffees. I like the because I work guys, at Cafe guys, Nero. Look, look, Literally, look. the coffees. Cafe Nero. Yeah, we are. All it's about not the sponsored, but I work there. You guys are thinking we meant something else, but we yeah. <laughs> meant the coffees. I think. Okay. The first thing. The first thing you do when you get unauthorized charges on your bank. I check my Uber app thinking, okay, I've got some ride history that I, they've obviously billed me for some rides that I've had and I didn't realize. No ride since we was in Cardiff. And this was like 20, this is like back in February. Um, so nothing on there, no Uber Eats, nothing. Like where we, I mean, look guys, look, there's no Uber Eats around here. <laughs> do you know, okay, do you know what I mean? So no Uber Eats, so I, there's no way that I've spent money on Uber. At Absolutely impossible. I've not been anywhere, the, UK, the, the country's in lockdown. So I call up my bank and say, look, these charges are not authorized. I did not go to Amsterdam, there's no way. And the bank said, yeah, okay, we'll deal with this straight away. NatWest, you know, those guys are on it. So I thought, okay, let's call Uber, let's call Uber. I spoke to some guy, he had no idea what he was talking about. And this is where it started to get messed up. And I was like, I have lost my confidence in Uber completely. So I, I, I was on the place this guy in a call center. He, I mean, in fairness to him, he was in India and he probably had no idea what was going on. So he said, yeah, some guy has used my card, like my personal uh, debit card um, on Uber on a brand new account, right? Even though my card is registered to my account on Uber and my Uber Eats and my boyfriend's Uber Eats. Hello. Okay. So there's no way that you can register that card a second time because it's already registered. And 
On top of that, the guy had a different name, a different address, a different date of birth, none of his details matched, but Uber was like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. We'll let him use your card. And this is the one security check they did, guys, okay? And I'm not, I'm not joking. I'll show you the messages. Well, they'll be on the screen, pop them up. Uber, Uber, Uber. It's right there, guys. Have you read it yourself? Pop them up, pop them up. <laughs> This guy said to me, okay, Uber let them use my car details with the wrong address, the wrong date of birth, the wrong everything, because the guy said to them, yeah, it's fine because we enabled family sharing on the account. I'm like, family sharing? I don't even know that you are, bro. There's no family sharing going on on this account. And Uber were like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. We'll take your word for it. So they did, and this guy spent 45 pounds on a taxi ride in Amsterdam. I don't know where he was going, but that's a long taxi ride. And then he gets back to his hotel and orders 10 pounds worth of Uber Eats on my card. And Uber is still like, yeah, that's fine. That's fine, we'll just let it carry on, it's chill. It's all good, you know, no fraud here. Even though the name doesn't match, date of birth doesn't match, the address doesn't match. I've not even spoken to the guy. Yet yeah, Uber are still like, yeah, yeah, boom, 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 carry on. So anyway, I'll show you the message they sent me. Here we go, pop it up. Now, it says there, your card's been compromised. Okay, fine. So I looked at my bank statement. I can't show you that because it will show you how much money I spend in, in KFC, McDonald's and the pub. So I'm not gonna put that up there. However, I can tell you now that no other transactions came from my account in that 48 hour period from anyone other than Uber. Right, so if my card has been compromised and scammers have my account, wouldn't they be buying? You know, at that point in time, there was probably six, seven thousand pounds in my account. Yeah. So wouldn't they be buying TVs, sofas, ha boats, what my cars? Uber, right. But they just bought an Uber. So <laughs> what really happened, guys? And I'll show you my reply. Pop it up. That's what I said to them. Okay, so I said to them, look, there's no way, no way that this is me, this is you. And you're seeing, look at the reply, pop it up. So yeah, you've seen all the evidence, guys. You've seen every single message from me to Uber, right? There's no way my card was compromised. My own bank, NatWest, and that's not an unreputable bank, that's a normal UK bank, if you're not in the UK, it is. Um, they said there was no other transactions on that card from anyone else other than Uber, apart from my own personal spending, you know, down the pub and whatever. Couple points. This is what I'm saying to you guys, okay? And you've seen the evidence. The conclusion is, Detective Marsden says, Uber leaked my car details to some guy. And he did all that stuff, right? And they tried to cover it up. Now, to make it even more interesting, okay? I posted this on Facebook. This is like four or five days ago. And 25 other people commented and said, we've had the same issue, Uber Amsterdam. Now, come on. I'm not saying it's a coincidence, but there's something happened to Uber. Their platform has been hacked or whatever, and my card details have been leaked, and potentially many other people. And I've had to get a new card. Where's my, where's my wallet? <laughs> I've had to get a new bank card, change my PIN number, change my whole bank card number. And I'm telling you guys now, still to this day, I can see the transactions from that old card zero apart from uber and they're saying to me my card was compromised well yeah okay if it was compromised why didn't someone you know take money out of the atm buy stuff do other stuff why is it only uber hmm. because the reason is they let my card number go to another guy and they let him use my account because he said it was fine and you see their replies and do you know the funny thing is when i put to them as you see my last reply, this is a scam. You've obviously conned me. You've leaked my car details. Zero reply. In three, actually, no, in four days now. It's been four days. And Uber, nothing. Not interested, not interested. So there you go. You guys make up your own mind. Um, I had to make this video because I'm just, I'm, I'm, I don't care, guys, I don't care about the money. The money isn't the issue to me. What I care about is the fact that Uber leaked my car details and it's blatantly obvious it was them. You know, Jordan, can you draw any other conclusion? No. And you know, I'm not making this just for views and likes and stuff. This is a genuine video. You know, I'm not making this up. You've seen the evidence. I mean, 
I'm really annoyed. And to be honest, Uber, you're a massive company with a massive app and you can't even admit that, that this is your fault. I'm pretty annoyed. Thanks guys, literally, as I said, I had to make this video today. Our channel isn't officially live for about two to three weeks. We've got a big video coming. We've got loads of stuff planned and film ready to go. We're so excited, aren't we, Jordan? Yeah. And, you know, it's gone from nothing to 800 subscribers in a couple of days. Yeah. And we're just so thankful. Yeah. Like, Thank we you, promise guys. you, we're going to make the best content. We're literally going to just boss the YouTube. <laughs> Stick with us, guys. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like on this video, nice. and we love you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, Don't guys. use Uber.